Hey everyone, welcome back to the CopQuest YouTube channel. My name is David, I'm the manager of agency sales, and today we're doing a quick video on how to add a shim to a Bianchi Model 126 GLS Ascent. And the whole purpose of this uh, shim is because this is a multi-fit holster and so you may actually need this shim in order to make your firearm fit properly into this holster. For ease of demonstrating how to install the shim, I actually removed the GLS mechanism from the holster, but you don't actually have to do this to install it. So uh, stay tuned so you can see how that's done later on in the video. Uh, but back to installing the shim. So you see this hole right here, that's gonna be on the outside of your holster. So if this is a right-handed holster, it's gonna be facing away from your body on the right side. You'll see that there's a hole here. And then on the shim, there's a corresponding post. And the way you know that things are lined up is it's gonna roughly mirror that shape of the GLS mechanism. So you'll take your shim, put it in, put the notch or put the post into the notch and then you'll push it back to the rear. It's going to lock in. It's not going to really be audible. Uh, it's more of a tactile thing. So you, you feel that it's in there. It's not going anywhere. If you want to install your shim while the GLS is outside of your holster, the easiest way to remove it is to take your included Allen key and undo this screw. And then on the back side, there's a post this will come out once the uh, threads are free from the screw. And then you can just wiggle the whole GLS mechanism out of the holster. So now I'm going to show you how to install the shim while the GLS mechanism is installed in the holster. Uh, as a tip, you may need your Allen key to help assist in pushing the shim into place. So I'm going to have that easily accessible. And then the other tip is to let gravity do a lot of the work for you. So what we're gonna do is turn the holster upside down and then take the shim and feed it in there. And it, it is a little difficult, especially if you have fat fingers like I do. And then I'm gonna use the key to help get it into place. And let's push that. There we go. And that is how you get the shim installed in your 126 GLS Ascent holster. If you could like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because we love putting out great content for you. So be safe and talk to you next time.